Hi, we're Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins, Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles, a ministry without walls or boundaries. And this is Freedom from Addiction. And we're talking about something in these last, these four programs. This is be, be our third one now. We're talking about being hooked on a feeling. Many years ago, there was that famous song, Hooked on a Feeling. Well, today we have many people hooked on a feeling, a feeling of anxiety, worry, fear, depression, a, a feeling of no hope. But there is hope, and that's what we're going to be sharing with you today. But due to the coronavirus, we understand what's going on. We have people dying every day. Our hospitals are full. Our emergency rooms are full. And people are losing their jobs. People have, they're losing their businesses. People have no income. They can't pay the rent. Sometimes they can't pay the food. <clears throat> Our phones ring daily with people in crisis. And God has called us to minister to them and encourage them how to make it through the problems we're going through without being hooked on a feeling of anxiety, worry, fear, and depression. So one of my very favorite verses in the Bible is Psalms 91. And I'm going to have Julie read that to you, but before she does, I want to tell you a little story about how this applied in my life, how it saved my life one time. Um, I'd been a serious alcoholic until I was 51 years old. And uh, got delivered November 9th, 1986. In January 1989, I came down with colon cancer. And I found out if you're an alcoholic, you have an 80% better chance of having colon cancer than if you aren't an alcoholic. Well, as they operated on me, the cancer went on my colon and in my lymph nodes. And I was in serious trouble. And they told me that. And uh, that was January 1989. In February 1989, they took me to the hospital dying. I was dead and gone, almost. And they called the, my uh, doctor, and they rushed him to, to where I was. And, and he walked in, and, and he, when he saw the condition I was, he could hardly even ha talk. And uh, I, all I could do is I knew that God was healing me. And he came in, and he ran in there, and he said, man, man, how are you? And I said, praise God, I'm healed. Nine days later, I was out of there. But I was also involved in full business, full gospel businessmen back in those days. And the head of the, the full gospel businessmen in Quincy brought me back in those days. We had old cassette tapes and a, and a, a disc that you put in there or a tape you put in there. And he brought me that right after my operation. And it had Psalms 91 on it and music. And I played that over and over and over again. Day and night, day and night, I played Psalms 91 over and over again. And I truly believe that God used that to heal me. That's been many years ago, many years later. I'm still here because I truly believe God used that scripture to heal me. And Julie, I want you to read that for us, would you please? Sure. Um this is Psalms 91. It starts out, verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare and the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. 
for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. And this is God speaking. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. So he's going to deliver the person. Yes, right? He's going to deliver us. He's a God of deliverances. Yes. I will set him on high because he has known my name. So that when it says known my name, that means that the person has surrendered their life to Jesus Christ, his son, and in that way they know who God is. He's, he's, he's their father. Amen. And they're his child. That's right. right. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? And that's for a, a man or a woman. He will satisfy you and give you salvation. And he will be with you in trouble and he will deliver you and honor you. It says, call upon me in Psalm 50, 15, in the day of trouble. And I will answer you, and I will deliver you. So he is. So he says that when times of trouble. So right now, many people listening out there right now, as we get ready, went went through the Thanksgiving season. We're in the Christmas season right now, um, but many people are in trouble. They have no money to buy any presents for anybody. You know, they don't even have money, maybe for to get a Christmas dinner put together. Or, or any presents or anything. So right now they're in a time of trouble. Uh, they don't even know if many of them have lost their businesses. They don't even know what they're going to do. Many of them can't pay their, their rent or anything else. So they're in a time of trouble, but he's going to be with them in them times, right? Yes, yes. He's, he's Jehovah uh, Jireh, the God who will provide. He's, he is our provider and our deliverer. And um, just, he says, call upon me and I'll deliver you completely. And so uh, it doesn't matter what the need is. Jesus is there for you to, to help you and get you to a safe place. And sometimes even uh, like Apostle Paul would, would be out there and, and evangelizing and he'd get on shipwrecked, but God brought him to shore and got him food, you know, with all the other people who were shipwrecked with him. So he can provide, and even that, God worked together for Paul's good, and he brought many people to the Lord through his witness. So uh, a lot of it is about uh, God putting us in that mission place where he wants us to witness to others okay. and help so, others. So that's, a, that's very good, Julian. You know, sometimes as Christians, we think once we accept or surrender our life to Jesus Christ, yeah. you know, as our Lord and Savior, it's going to be a walk in the park. Everything's going to be beautiful from then on. And that's not true because I, when you brought up the Apostle Paul, and that's so interesting because let's look what he went through. He went through shipwrecks. He one time was stoned to death. They thought he had died, right? Amen. And yeah. they left him for dead. Yes. And God raised him up and healed him from that. Absolutely. He spent most of his life in prison. In fact, he read, wrote almost the whole New Testament in prison, right? right? In, a, in a horrible, stinking prison back in those days. It wasn't like today. Oh, no. I mean, yeah. there, there was rats running around, probably chewing on your toes and everything else. So the Apostle Paul went through some horrible times. Jesus didn't say he wouldn't keep us from going into the storm. He said he'd take us through the storm. Yes. So what we got to be hooked on, the feeling we got to be hooked on is hope in Jesus Christ. Not, not anxiety, worry, fear, and depression. We can't let those feelings destroy us. We can't let those feelings think God's abandoned us. Right. In fact, God says, I'll never leave you or abandon you. Yeah, right? in Hebrews 13, 5, I think it is. He says, mm -hmm. never will I leave you, never will I forsake, forsake you. you. And he right. says that also in the Old Testament. That's his... That's his promise. I think it's in Deuteronomy also. But just because we're a Christian, if you're a Christian out there today, uh, and you're going through this crisis, we pray for you. Our heart breaks for you because we're all going through it. Our, this ministry is taking a tremendous hit during this time. There no, you know, there no use kidding about it. Uh, most all ministries have. Some churches have had to completely close 
because they couldn't have services. They didn't have the finances to keep the church open. So we're every, there's nobody exempt from this problem, you know. And so we're all going through this together. But you got to know that God will never leave you or forsake you. He's right there for you, isn't he? Amen. Yes, Amen. he's there. He's an ever-present help in trouble. And um, it says, the word of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it, and they are saved. So we need to run to the Lord the minute we get into trouble. When If we're uh, confronted with an addiction, uh, we need to surrender to him. Amen. Okay, and this, last week we ran out of time. So we got some people we got to thank for. Yeah. We ran out of time this week. Well, we would like to thank Pepco Incorporated, Uniform Mats and Towels in Quincy, Illinois, for and also Nikki Zemus of Westtown Ford Lincoln, Jacksonville, Illinois, for bringing this program to you today. And also, we'd like to thank other viewers like you. And we do want to thank you so much because uh, if God lays on your heart to, to uh, if, there, if this ministry is ministering to you, and God lays on your heart to, to do something for the ministry. We just ask that you just whatever God tells you to do, you'd make a donation. And that's to uh, Addiction Free in Christ. Yes. And that is, where do they send that well, to? Well, you can send that to uh, our address at 639 York Street, Quincy, Illinois, 62301. And the suite number is Suite 208. So that's 639 York Street, Suite 208, Quincy, Illinois, 62301. Or just give us a call and we'll help you do that. You can go to our website at www.addictionfreeinchrist.com and donate uh, through our website also. There's another thing you can do for us. These programs are for you. They're not for us. These programs are for you to help you work through whatever you're going through. You know, to, to help you when you go through this anxiety, this worry, this fear, the depression, whatever it is you're going through, we're here for you. So we'd like to have your suggestions. If there's anything you'd like to have us cover in any of these programs, if there's anything about some scripture that you just don't understand and you'd like to have us address that, please give us a call. We're here for you. Or they can email us at at RevJerry at AddictionFreeInChrist.com. So we want to thank you for tuning in today. We hope, whether you're watching on WTJR, on our YouTube channel, somewhere in the United States or beyond, we're here for you. And we want to encourage you. God will never leave you or forsake you. He loves you right where you are today. And we, all you want to do is just say, God, I love you, and just surrender your life to him and start thanking him in advance for what he's going to do and how he's going to take you through whatever you're going through today. And again, if you need to call us, just pick up that phone and give us a call. We're right here for you. We'll, we want to pray with you. We want to do whatever we can to help you through whatever you're going through. Thank you and God bless you.